Ever wonder how e-commerce stores are able to remind you of items you left in your cart? That's a tracking pixel at work. A pixel is a small piece of code that is added to a website or email design to track site visitors or email openers. It allows website operators or email senders to gather information about their audience, including what pages they browse, what buttons they click, and even their IP address. So how do pixels help marketers? First, seeing which products a potential customer showed interest in means that you can serve highly relevant retargeting ads and prompt more conversions. By tracking impressions and conversions, you're also able to measure the performance of a marketing campaign. Plus, you can use pixels to A-B test creative or online offers to make them more compelling, adapt digital experiences to the most commonly used browsers and sizes, and gauge the open rates for your emails. But how are pixels different from cookies? Pixels send information directly to the host servers, which lets them drop cookies to a website visitor's browser. Those cookies are saved in the visitor's browser and collect information about their behavior until the visitor deletes them. There are also different types of pixel codes, each of which have a unique purpose. Browser HTML pixels are the most basic and common type of pixel offered by most website providers. Retargeting pixels are used to monitor user behaviors and interactions on a website, allowing marketers to serve tailored ads instantly. Conversion pixels are placed on thank you or confirmation pages and are triggered when users complete goals. These pixels allow marketers to connect conversions and subsequently revenue to certain behaviors, audience profiles, and ads. So with all this in mind, how do you get started with tracking pixels? You can typically install a pixel code via your email or website host platform. However, when you use AdRoll, your pixel is automatically generated as soon as you sign up. And if you manage different websites, we'll generate a unique pixel code for each of them. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or comment below. And if you wanna learn more about pixel codes, check out our blog post linked in the description. Thanks for watching.